Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set a description for the tile visualization and also configure data actions for the tile meshes and also for the meshes on composite visuals as you see on the tree map below. Now let's start with the tile description. Let me go to the property panel. We've added a new description section in the general tab of the tile visualizations property panel. The description is set to auto, meaning that if the column has a description provided, uh, which is quite common in subject areas, then the default description will be used to display. If not, there will be no description displayed. As you can see in my example, I'm using a data set. Sales does not have any description provided in this data set. But the user can change this to a custom value and provide a custom description uh, like I've done. So the moment you enter a description, uh, a custom description, it's displayed on or rendered on the visualization. And uh, there are some font properties that the user can uh, change to control the uh, cosmetics of the description uh, on the tile visualization. Oracle Analytics Cloud also now supports data action on the tile visualizations or rather the measures on the tile visualization and also for the measures on composite visuals uh, on Oracle Analytics Cloud. Now let's open up the data actions uh, dialog and uh, let's add a data action for sales. And I'm gonna make this an analytics link data action type and anchor this to the sales column from the data set. And I wanna navigate uh, the user to a uh, detailed data, uh, which is a different canvas on the same workbook and then pass on uh, the filter values and uh, the parameter values, if any, on this workbook. So let's go ahead and save the data action. Once the data action is saved, uh, user will now see the data actions on the right click context menu of the specific measure. Because we anchored this data actions to sales, uh, this data action will only appear on those visualizations that have sales measure. As you can see on this quantity order and profit, data action is not getting displayed. Uh, but on this composite visual, if I were to right click on sales, uh, I would see the data action. Now, before I invoke the data action, let me drop a visualization filter, customer segment as a visualization filter. And I'll go to the property panel of the tree map and also turn on the values uh, for data label. That way it shows me the month and the respective sale measure. Now let's filter down um, the customer segment to just home office. Uh, so the map gets updated to show the sales by month for the respective customer segment. And when I hover over sales uh, tile measure on this composite visual, right click and invoke the sales data action that we just configured, you would notice that uh, the context of the visualization is taken and passed on to the target canvas in this example, Customer segment uh, as home office is applied as a filter to the canvas and the visualizations for the detailed data and the order data is only showing the user the data for customer segment equals home office. So in summary, Oracle Analytics Cloud provides options for the user to add a description to the tile visualization and also support data action for workbook navigation use cases. Thank you for watching this video.